It's now time to raise the dead. Hit it, baby! Yeah, baby, this be my gig. Doing it with you white boys really gets me off. I... I love black women. They're m much sexier than white women. Yeah, don't you worry, sugar. That mealy flesh white girls don't hold a ghetto blast of this luscious body of dynamite. Oh, oh, please. Oh, please. Let's do it. Yeah, after I turn out the lights, Mr. Walker. Oh, but, but I want to see your luscious dynamite. I only do it in the dark, sugar. That way I can imagine you as a big stud with a big fuse to ignite my... I never knew she had a sister. Oh, yes. It's the best kept secret of our times. You know, the Kennedys. Look, I've always had a, a thing for Monroe. Now, when Bunny told me that she had exclusive rights on her sister, my crotch began to burn. Of course I'm the real thing. Now, what can I do for you? Well, that dress, it's just like the one she wore when the wind gushed. The dead has risen. Yeah. Yeah, what you want? Oh, hi, Bunny. No, I just playing my part. No, he doesn't know yet. Yeah, what time? 483 Thompson. Okay, I'll write it down. But this one might take all night. All right, I'll be there. See ya. Wanna take off my top, sugar? <laughs> oh, 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 shit, I forgot to do my tits. Hey, I want my money back. You're not black. How'd you guess? For half the price, I'll do it with you, even though you're white. Ah, fuck you, you weenie. Uh, the dress. Look, stand on the bed and straddle my face. Okay, but why? So that I can blow. Look, you pretend to be Marilyn and hold your dress down so that I can't see your panties. Oh, but I'm not wearing any panties. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Is it working? Testing for what? Yeah, it is. Hey, you Loretta? Nah, she is. Who wants to know? Me, I'm Wyatt. Um, you the dame I'm supposed to give the money to? Yeah, she's the one. Bunny always lets her... Will you them. shut up? Where's it at? Here. And these are the girls that are supposed to be here. Fine. I'll handle it. Donna, check. Snow White, check. Boomerang, Katrina, Fancy. Uh, there's Slinky and Bodacious Tata. Slow down, slow down. You're going too fast. Go! What? You might. It's showing. You want to get us all killed? Well, I didn't exactly volunteer for this job. You got the short straw. Will you shut up? The cops said we're the only ones with enough balls. Besides, they promised not to hassle us no more. All right, let's get this over with. Are all the girls here? Uh, Loretta, Carly, Joy. Yeah, now that we're here. Hey, Wyatt! The gang's all here! You three are part of this or what? Your clothes. Take them off. All right, you broads, follow me and use. Make it stop it. What are these for? A birthday surprise. The boss is 40. <gasps> I love birthdays. What's the surprise? We burn the place down. Hey. All right, girls, come on, line up. Right this way, ladies.
One, a two, a three. Mm, for well, he's, he's a jolly, jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. That nobody can deny. That nobody can deny. That nobody can deny. For he's a jolly good fellow. So, uh, what's this white stuff? Ah, you must be new, sweetheart. This is numero uno primo stuff. Just like yours, Tui. <laughs> you mean cocaine? <gasps> Not cocaine! Is it good stuff? Oh, this is the best coke in Nueva York. <laughs> you kidding? Now, line up so the boss can blow out your candles. business to stay. What business? Why don't you mind your own business, you, you streetwalker? Listen to her! <laughs> she must be getting fucked in a different way than us, girl. Oh, shut up! There's gotta be something better than doing this shit. You three have got mouths on you like sewers. Yeah, full of shit! Ooh. Ah. Oh, you know, the three of you got mouths on you like this police station. Yeah, like how? It's where all the dicks hang out! Fuck you! Yeah. Hey, why don't you go back to your corner before you get your face punched in? This is just what I've been in the mood for all night. <laughs> now, back to business. What business? Hey, the bacteria of 42nd Street spreading. Watch out! Oh, you ready? They come, they cast out their own Have too much fun East Coast number is just a rumor And the discontents in fashion Saturday lingerie and laces Professional talking, made up faces They can be hard as soft There's a whole lot of sweet little girl inside them Lisa painting so full But Susan sing and so low I'd let you out, you all look like stoolies. Thanks. Why did you call Bunny? I did. Said she couldn't be bothered. Figured a night in jail would do the bunch of you some good. Bunny said that? Yeah. Just get us our stuff. Look. 
I want you to be careful. That's a lot of loot to be carrying you around. You want to be her bodyguard? No, now look, girls, thanks for your help. I just want you to know we cracked the ring and caught the boy. Oh, goody. Now you keep up your part of the bargain. No more hassles. Well, uh... uh what yeah, do you mean by well, this well off shit? I know uh, what he means. He means this business is a one-sided street. What business? How much? For you, a million bucks! The house in the Hamptons! And you gotta wear a rubber over your head! 37, 23, 35, 5, 4, 21. What the hell are you talking about? My lottery number, silly! My measurements, my height, and my age. It's gotta hit someday. Yeah, hit! God, that's what I'd like to do to Bunny. She's such a pain in the ass. But to think that she said that a night in jail would do us good? I can't believe it. I want out of this business. What business? Hooking! Prostitution. Prostitution! Oh, that business! Why didn't you just say so? I'm tired of fooling around, too. I'd like to find myself a rich, handsome husband. What? You? Why not? I'm gorgeous. Great in bed, and I could certainly give orders to a house full of servants. <laughs> oh, quit your cackling. Maybe she's got a point. Would you like to be legal? Have someone that provided for your every whim and loved you? Yeah, I thought about it, and I don't cackle. That's for witches. Yeah, you said it, not me, asshole. Sleeve. Bitch. Slime. Tramp. Whore. See, I've got good ideas. I have brains. Sometimes. Okay, Brainy. How do you propose we find rich, handsome husbands? If we win the lottery, we could buy our own husband. Nah, they gotta be rich first. What the hell would we need them for if we had money? Love. Oh! So what do you want? Coffee. Coffee. Tea. Okay, you guys, look. We gotta come up with some sort of a plan. What exactly is it the millionaires look for in women? Women with class, you know. Virginal debutantes. Oh, man, are you living in the past, you asshole? Virginity on this planet was last seen taking off the mod. Yeah, probably on the space shuttle. Yeah, right, Joy. Concentrate, you guys. We want out. We know what we want. Now, how do we get it? You gotta have it before you can get it. <gasps> Dougie! Are you working? Yeah, in a while. Now, what the hell do you mean by this? You gotta have it. Look, I don't mean to insult you, but you gotta have class, looks, attitude, it. I got them things. Wear and store it. No, I got no. Look, look, look. I mean, <laughs> so what does it take to get a millionaire? A billion. Marilyn made this film once about marrying a millionaire. I know everything about her, you know. So do I, but that's the movies. This is real life. Shut up, Dougie. Anything is worth a listen. What was the movie, honey? Well, there was Marilyn and this other girl and another one. And they wanted to find rich millionaires like us. Isn't that a coincidence? Oh, shit, I gotta go. <gasps> Dougie, do Marilyn, please. <laughs> They're probably still in the slammer. <laughs> They're probably having the time of their lives. Oh, God, I used to love making it with the cop in a cell. There's something so, so tough, but romantic about a cement floor. Ooh. Come on, honey, wake up. I gotta get going. Huh? Yeah, I gotta go down to the station, pick up my money, you know? We gotta make... Oh. Oh, on second thought. I think it's all that talk about the cement floors. Oh, yeah, arouse me, baby! Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, arouse me! So, you mean just setting themselves up on an Upper East Side apartment got a millionaires? Well, yeah, I think so. But it was a great movie. Marilyn was brilliant. I think it's a great idea. It's worth a shot. Hey, you two think so? Count me in. Oh, good. Lots of luck. <gasps> Listen to this. One bedroom, river views, air conditioning, sublet by the week, a month, 1,000 per. Per what? Week. Week? <sighs> Shit, we don't got that kind of money. Count me out. Oh, don't be such a coward. Come on, let's pull our cash and we'll see how much we got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Well, it looks like you could spend at least uh, 12 and a half minutes in the damn place. You gotta be kidding, Loretta. <gasps> Bunny's money! Bunny's money! Uh-oh, trouble! Oh, butt out, Dougie! Since we ain't working for her no more, I figure she owes us a bonus. How much is it? A little over 4,000. 4,000, definitely trouble. Oh, shit, I... Listen to this! We could rent the Mayflower Hotel! Been done. Listen to this! 
Two bedroom, Upper East Side, living room, kitchen, bathroom, $1,500 a week. Oh. Shit, and that'll give us enough extra for those forgotten necessities like food, clothes, penicillin. It sounds wonderful. Well, it's not. Well, stop kidding yourselves. I mean, <laughs> you'll never even get past the broker. Is that like a bookie? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, well look at yourselves. Now, ask yourselves. Would you rent an apartment to you? <gasps> or to me? <sighs> I can't believe you gave my money to a job! I gave her back what she came in with. It's my money! 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 All right, all right. Money! I'm sorry, Bunny. Just ask Loretta for it. She's just holding it for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Right, I, uh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize for the outburst. It's, uh, money kind of gets me going and, uh, Loretta, right? Right. Okay. See you around, huh? You asshole! You give my money to a two-bit slut! Yeah, Doug, you don't know shit. If he did, he wouldn't be a female impersonator. Oh! <gasps> Don't let Dougie hear you say that. He thinks he's an actor. Hey, somebody hung this picture upside down. Oh, let's fix it. Yeah, that'll get us in good weather. Just leave it. There ain't no way you tell them which way to hang them damn things. Shut up, Loretta. I know art, and it's upside down and heavy. Yeah, so are you, asshole. Bitch. Tramp, sleeve. Slut, slut. Oh, doesn't it look like the Empire State Building? Nah, more like the World Trade Center. Or, uh, maybe... Can I help you? What have you done? Uh, I... We were just fixing your painting. Seems somebody hung it up wrong. You ruined it! Oh, nothing a little scotch tape and crazy glue won't fix. Yeah. I'm Loretta, this is Carly, and that's Joy. Hiya. Hi. What do you want? We want to rent this sublet you got advertised. In the New York Times. That's our ad, but I'm afraid you are not the type of renters my client is looking for. Oh, well, well, maybe you got something similar. I'm afraid not. We got money. I'm sorry. I have a feeling that you think that we're not good enough. I don't even think you write bad enough. Why, you snotty bitch. Hey, what's the matter with us? Your clothes are cheap. The perfume you're wearing is cheap. Your makeup and hair are cheap. And you speak like a, a bunch of hookers. <gasps> oh, hookers! Why do you always look at me? That's gone astray Why do you always speak to me that way? So shy with your bumbly tune Like you've never a thing to say well, I know a story about you I bet you don't know I know Your best friend I want them! I believe me! Don't you worry, I'll do it. The best I can, I'll take care of them. Your fault. They got through. I checked out them brides as best I could. I got Hello! Let's wait until I get out of here. But I don't want to get connected with uh, the mind. Clouds, find out why it's taking two weeks for Martin to post my bed. To my heart, so don't keep on sadly pining away for me. Darling, please take the lead. Was I right? The bookie said we were cheap. Well, I know I'm not. I never do it for less than a hundred. A hundred for what? Maybe them girls in the jail cell was right. Once a hooker, always a hooker. Don't talk that way. Where's your self-esteem? I don't know. I'm not a hooker. I am not a hooker! That's the spirit! Now, there is a way to get that apartment. How? What you girls need is lady lessons. How to be one, survive an affluent society. From who? You, huh? Yes, me. 
Look, being a lady's just acting. It is not acting. It's hair and makeup. Oh, and... yeah. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> so, you think just putting on a dress makes you broad classy? Hey, forget about it. All he is, he's got to learn how to walk, talk, and fuck like ladies. Yeah. Being a lady is a full-time job. <clears throat> a truly classy woman must know the world of designers. Be knowledgeable in the arts, literature, politics, and the theater. You can't judge a book by its cover. The same thing holds true for a lady. Okay, we get your point. I don't. I still say with the right hair and makeup... Oh, yeah? Well, let me dress you up. If we slap some makeup on you, try to pass you off as ladies. I bet you won't last an hour. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Those three twats better have a good excuse. Mm. I'm gonna ruin them in the business. Ain't they already ruined? Mm. Mm. Shut up. Mm. Do you have a reservation? You got Indians in here? No, but we thought uh, you might be able to fit us in. I'm sorry, but we're all full. There's an empty one you must have forgot about. Let's go, girls. Uh, ladies, wait, please. Please. Hey, 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 where you going with my chair? May I? Oh, he's pulling out my chair. <laughs> Too heavy for you. <clears throat> no, on the counter, he's a gentleman. <gasps> Would you like to know what our specials for this evening are? <gasps> Don't tell me you have specials, too! You know what mine are? It's around the world. Wonderful. Hey, what's this writing here? French. <gasps> and there ain't no prices! Got anything like a Big Mac? <clears throat> Don't mind them. We'll just have whatever you feel is good. But please, make sure it's well done. Very good. Here's our wine selection. Oh, goody gumdrops! Do you have Tyrolia? Nah, they only got the good stuff, you know, cold duck, gallo, the best. Oh, man, this sitting up straight shit killing my back. Oh, rude. Oh, sorry, lady. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, she's fine. Are you all right? I could have whiplash. Oh, no, really, I'm okay. Sorry, lady. Would you care to join us? She certainly would not. Now you sit. Sit, sit. Eat your dinner. Have you selected a wine? Uh, you got anything new? Yeah, bring us a big old gallon uh, of that. I think a bottle of champagne. Oh, I wonder if he's a millionaire. Nah, just the old bag with him. Uh, the gentleman at the table over there wishes to pay for this. Is that all right with you ladies? Yeah. Oh, Sweet. Mm, divine. Oh, it's tickly. <sighs> mm, I love this stuff. Hey, hey, go easy, asshole. We gotta last at least an hour. Yeah, shut up. I got this lady stuff down anyway. It's a cinch. Don't burp, fart, or pick your nose. Hey, another bottle of this stuff. Hey, what is this? Crab legs or something? Hey, they don't look like the ones of Sizzler. Is it good? I think I'll pass. What's this purple shit? What's this green thing? Ew, looks like caterpillar turns. <gasps> I'm not eating this. <gasps> I'll get it. No, I'll get now it. Now, you guys are too drunk. I'll get it. Go <laughs> The rack of lamb is served, ladies. I got it. I got it. I got it. And it's all gone. Oh. Oh, this is an outrage. Give me some more bubbly for me and my rich girlfriends. Yeah. How many does she have? Oh, it only takes two. <laughs> Where's the music? This isn't a disco. I want them removed from the premises immediately. Oh, this is too embarrassing for words. I'll have you fired for allowing these people to hear her. Oh. She thinks we're embarrassing. Yeah, she don't really <laughs> see us in action. Yeah, these two specialize in blowjobs. She doesn't mean that. Ladies. Well, whatever you are, I must ask you to leave. Yeah, but we got that caddy! Now! Put it in a doggy bag. 
We know we're not. Oh, no, it's you. Somebody help me! Help! Help! Oh! 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 I'll never forget this. Ditto. Say, listen, can I see you again sometime? <gasps> Good thing, Toots. Oh, stay away from the trash. Out. Oh. Out. Oh. Out. Oh. Out. Oh. 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 Did we make it? Nope. As they say, ducks out of water, only quack a lot. Yeah, I'll quack you, you asshole. Oh. Come on, out. Come on. We're waiting here on the steps of the criminal courts building, hoping to catch a glimpse of the man the police call the boss of one of New York's largest cocaine rings. Wait a minute, wait a minute, here he comes now. No, it's his bodyguard, but maybe he'll say a few words. Excuse me, can you tell us anything about the man the police call the boss? Ask his mother. <laughs> Look, I said I was sorry. How many times do I have to tell you, for Christ's sake? For the rest of your life. That's a long time. You know what you oh, are, Loretta. Shut up, shut up! Arguing amongst yourselves isn't going to help you achieve your desired goals. Oh, what does a dumb drag queen know about anything? Dumb? Oh, that's a very sweet way to talk of one of your only friends on the face of this planet. Listen, honey, it pays the bills. Now, back to the business at hand. Marrying millionaires. Oh, yeah, how do we get one? With my help. Okay, okay, we get the message. What message? Okay, Dougie, just how do you propose you're going to transform us into real ladies? Uh-uh-uh, not one single word until I figure out what's in it for me. How about friendship? Nice, but not enough. Sex. <laughs> I don't screw business associates. Money? <gasps> we only have enough for the apartment and for food. If I make you over into acceptable females, and if you marry millionaires, which you will with my help, I want $33,333.33 and one-third cents from each of you, a total of $100,000. What? After the wedding, of course. Shh, it sounds fair. Fair? It sounds like highway robbery. Oh, what's $100,000 if we have millions? No, at least somebody in here has got some sense besides myself. Oh, thanks. Okay, we accept. When do we start? Once we get the apartment. Then we start with the basics, like how to put on makeup. How to I already know how. Oh, yes, you use the paint roller, right? If you still had your makeup on, I'd be punching your lights out. Rule number one, I'm the teacher, you're the student. So if you have any trouble with that, we can call the entire thing off right now. I'm all yours, teach. Me too, me too. Okay, okay. Good, but first, the apartment. Yeah. Oh, my bra's too tight. I don't like wearing pants. I feel just like Marilyn felt when she met that Prince guy, Oliver. Olivier! Now don't speak a word unless spoken to, and then think before you speak. Good afternoon. Can I help you, ladies? Yes, you may. I am the Countess von Stärkenberg, and these young ladies are my nieces. It's such an honor to make your acquaintance. Likewise, Miss Ed. Rush. Now, exactly what has brought you here? Well, we want to see if you... <clears throat> we would like to see if you have a two-bedroom, sublet apartment available. Why, of course. And how long will you be needing it? As long as it takes to I enter... am two weeks, possibly longer. Hey, lady! Um... I, I think the scotch tape adds a, a primitive feel to the artist's concept. Do you really? Definitely. Have we met before? Um, you probably passed one another at the opera. I insist they attend the opera. Do to be more culturally tuned. You know how difficult it is these days, what with all this MTV and Boy George stuff around. Oh, I know. Now, I have something here on the Upper West Side. That's not the one! One more. That was going to be my next question. Um, 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 I, I think there's something on the Upper East Side would be more fitting for my bloodline. I understand. Hmm. Oh, we have a two-bedroom here. Oh, splendid. Uh, is it available immediately? Yes. If you'll just fill this out, I can contact your references today and you can be in by tomorrow. Marvelous. And the nieces? Oh, oh, oh they're oh, so dear. Uncomfortable. Well, you know how it is to be in a foreign country, fish out of water, you might say. Oh, it's been quite. Uh, uh, you're more than welcome. Which way? That way. Which one? Southerner! Oh. 
Uh, sorry to keep y'all waiting. What can I do for you? Well, Countess von Stuckenberg, while she's one of my dearest friends in the world. Yeah, we always need down south soda late fall. The mineral bash, you know. Her niece is all heaven on earth, all three of the nicest girls you ever want to meet. Neat, tidy, responsible. Oh, I certainly enjoy talking to you, too. Which way? Hey! Oh. Marza Berlowski leads. I'm sorry I don't see him right now. I'm a bit too old. Yes, one moment, please. <laughs> Hello! Well, the Countess von Steichenberg, of course. How could I forget her late husband and 30% of my company? Now she does. But, oh, they're, they're wonderful girls, wonderful. A bit quiet, but lovely. Okay, thank you, goodbye. Oh, think of the money, that'll perk you up. I work like a charm. All right, let's go pick up the keys. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, you can call me Loretta. My hair get the bags. Wow, look at this joint. I beg your pardon? Oh, you don't have to beg. I'm easy. Beautiful street, Park Avenue. Yes, it is. Shit! Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah. Are you all right? Do you need No, no, no. Help? I can handle it. I can handle it. Uh, I'm Brian. <laughs> Brian Morrison. Carly, I'm just moving in. Yeah, nice building. My parents used to live here. Nice, sweetheart. Let the garbage man do his work. Nice meeting you. Millionaires, you three. Millionaires. You can play with the help after you get rings on your wedding fingers. But he's so handsome. Oh, I'm not letting you fall for some garbage man, honey. But he's so hot. All right, you three. Look. I got us the apartment, I got us the limo. I know where the best cut rate clothing stores are in New York, where every sale is any given moment. I'm earning my salary, but I don't want to have to play bodyguard too. Bye, Brian. All right, bodyguard it is. All right, in line, in line. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, four. Move it. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, One must be able to hear. You understand? Yes. yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Guess what? Sir. 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 Yes, yes sir. sir. Outstanding. Now, before we settle in, I want to give you all your official high society names. Loretta, you will be known as Muffy. Carly, you will be Tittles. Enjoy. Oh, yes. Your name will be Poodle. Like a Oh, those is awful names. Nobody calls me Tittles and gets away with it. Lady, shut up! Are we forgetting the sports cars? Yachts and Sleep 20, country homes in the Hamptons. No millionaire wants a wife with a name like Joy, or Loretta, or Carly. <sighs> yeah? Oh, you're here to pick up the garbage, huh? Uh, no. I came here to speak to Carly. Yes? For you. Thank you, but how did you know where... Joe, the doorman, is a friend. Would you like to have dinner tonight? Oh, yeah, she's busy tonight. Tomorrow night? And, and the rest of her life. Look, uh, look but, don't we get bothered to pick up the uh, garbage person in the future? We'll put it down the chute. Back in line! Oh, I'm so excited I can pee in my panties! The bathroom. 
bedrooms over there. So who gets the pull-out sofa, seeing as though there's only two bedrooms? Quit invention, Tittles! You three will trade off between the bedroom and the sofa. What if we bring a trick home? Trick? Did I hear you say trick? Yes. Remember, you're not whores anymore. You're ladies, and ladies do not bring tricks home. You understand? Yes. yes. So who gets that bedroom? Oh, it's mine. What? What do you mean, what? One more protest or angry outburst and I am leaving! I hope you like your bedroom. Well, that's more like it. Where is the music? And the booze! Oh, Don't budge an inch! It. We got work to do. Now? Now! On the double! Oh! One, two, three, four. Look straight ahead, not at the floor. Ain't no use in looking down. Ain't no rich guys on the ground. One, two, three, four, and cross, uncross, cross, uncross. We must, we must, we must increase our busts. The bigger, the better, the tighter, the sweater. We must increase our busts. Loretta. Society. A group of people is regarded as family class. Joy. Not see those crutches cross and cross in out in out. Higher, higher, lift them legs higher. If you show that pubic hair, let it be for millionaires. Higher, no. one thirteen. Etiquette: the manners and usages of polite society or professional intercourse. in front, the taller ones behind. Hey, this looks like good shit. We used to smoke. Cross. Uncross. Very nice, ladies. Cross. Uncross. Not even a red hair. Cross. Move it, girls. Move it. It's field trip time. You've been such good girls. Look, I compiled a list here of possible places where one might by chance run into a millionaire. Now, I'll be with you at all times, and remember, this is only a test. A, uh, dress rehearsal, so to speak. Um. Hi, may I help you? Yes, my bosses are looking to pick up a few little trinkets. Like that one. Oh, it's big. Wow. A little too large for good taste. Not mine. No. No. Oh. Ah! no. All right, ladies. This is what's known as a Mercedes Benz. Sounds like a rock group. Oh, I want the red one. Oh, hey, you're letting your instincts run wild. Oh. oh, we're not here to buy one, Joy. That's for our millionaire husband. Joy? Oh, all right. May I help you? <gasps> you. 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 Poodle, ah! name me prestigious designers. Valentino, Armani, Chanel, Givenchy, Halton, Klein, and Blast. Okay, Tittles, California Wines. Cake Bread, Chardonnay, Laurel Glen, Cabernet, Girard, Chenin Blanc, Long, Weisling. Okay, Muffy, Spas. Golden Door, California, The Palm, Palm Springs, Del Mar, Aruba, The Clinic, Switzerland. One chilled glass. Oh, shake, do not stir. Now pour gently, gently, gently. Ah, do not bruise it gently. Yes, yes, yes. And now, oh, be careful. Olives are very, very fragile. There you go. Oh. Don't you worry about it. Listen, honey, you got any leads on those three bitches? Uh, no, no one seems to know where they've gone to. Well, keep your ears peeled and call me immediately if you find out anything, yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, now resume. And this time, with a little more feeling, yeah? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. Thank you. 
Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies, and I do mean ladies, this is our battle plan. Oh, are those X's points of interest? Only if you're millionaire hunting. You make it sound like a war. And this is a list of possible places where one might find candidates for capture. But you make it sound like a real battle. Ladies, once and for all it is! And our first plan of attack, the Conga Club. <laughs> Good night, Brian. Good night. Brian, Unky. Chittles, what would he possibly be doing in the Conga Club, New York's hottest spot? Thank you. You're so kind. It's uh, wonderful to see you. Uh... I'm Count Sturkenberg, and these are my three nieces, Muffy, Tittles, and Poodle. Well, it's an honor to have you here tonight. I do hope you have an extra table set aside for us. Up front? Uh, for you and these beautiful ladies, of course. Right this way. Good evening, ladies. Oh, they, There's New York's the biggest real estate tycoon. Please, any of you is married. This is Warren. Oh, when it's not just a unit. They're gorgeous. Who are they, Henry? Uh, I don't know, but they must be important. Right? Oh. Uh, who are they? Beats me. Cocktails? Champagne. Your finest bubbly. Yes, sir. For real. Compliments of Mr. Marx, Mr. Copel, Mr. Alexander, Mr. Pomerantz, and Mr. Hinkley. Axel Witherspoon at your service. I'm Count Sturgenberg, and these are my three nieces. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, thank you. Beautiful ring. What'd you get? Which one? That one. Uh, made up especially for me at Harry Winston. Would you care to dance? Oh, Mr. Witherspoon, you're such a well-jeweled man. <laughs> Indeed I am. Ooh, that certainly was quick. Looks like the prey is coming to us. Excuse me, ladies, uh, may we have this dance? And whom might you gentlemen be? keep up with what's going on. Precisely. My son Fillmore would love to dance with you. <laughs> you know, I think I know those ladies. You mean you know classy broads like them? Honey, I'm the classiest one in this joint. Oh, yes, honey, you are. <laughs> 
Your family? The asterisks of Philadelphia. Marvelous. And what is your position? Vice President of Standard International. Now that'll do. And what is your place of residence? New York, Southampton, and Rome. Oh, ladies, um, these three gentlemen would love to dance with you. I think I'd like to rest a moment, Uncle. Me too. That's a divine idea. Uh, allow these ladies a moment to catch their breaths. These are three very worthy gentlemen. Did you see that cute guy I was dancing with? Yeah, what's his name? Tennyson Alderman III. Mm, sounds good. I'll have to check him out. I've got a surprise for you, so sit tight. Uh, not too tight. <laughs> Excuse me. My mommy said it would be okay if I was to ask you to dance with me. Sure thing, hot stuff. Luffy, oh, he knows who we are. He was at the restaurant, remember? Not really. How many is that for you, Tittles? This is my first one, and I haven't had a chance to take a sip all evening. Dance? I'd love to. Vous êtes un slick, ma diamo. Hello. Je vous ai vu à travers la pièce, et je vais pas me résister à l'envie de vous approcher. Well, I'm Tittles. Ma client? Oh, ma chère, je vois que vous aimez être soumise. Oh, thank you. You dance divinely, too. Oui, bien sûr. Ladies and gentlemen, the Conga Club has a little surprise for you this evening. Where's Auntie? Oh, I don't know. He'll be along. He never misses a surprise anything. Except maybe a birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the Conga Club is proud to present that world-famous Brazilian sensation, the luscious, sexy, passionate Missonia Rodriguez! Yeah! Oh, I should have known. He is the surprise. Always when I sing this song, I have a little problem. It makes me squirm and quiver all the time. It's scratching and it's fighting like the little creature's fighting and it's here to drive me right out of my mind. Well, I never know for certain when this thing will ever strike, but it's somewhere in the middle of my song. It knows I'm so embarrassed and I won't know what to do, so it torments me till I do the whole thing wrong. It goes buzz, buzz, tika, tika, buzz, buzz, tika, tika, itching me and scratching me all night. It goes buzz, buzz, tika, tika, buzz, buzz, tika, tika, book it to me, you know, on a fly. It goes buzz, buzz, tika, tika, buzz, buzz, tika, tika, itching me and scratching me all night. It goes buzz, buzz, tika, tika, buzz, buzz, tika, tika, book it to me, you know, on a fly. Hey, didn't that look like fun? Yeah, but we ain't got anyone to dance with. We'll find some. Come on. Hey, you handsome. You want to dance? Only oh, really noise it makes me want to love <laughs> Don't you. Think it's actually Come about on. you in my head. The more it seems to find me, well, the more I seem to want you. Well, it doesn't go. I think I should be dead. Oh, my chérie, I've got to march on the floor. It's so very, very pretty. Yes, I uh, love that champagne, too. I think you like it very, very much. It goes buzz, buzz, tika, tika, buzz, buzz, tika, tika, itching me and scratching me all night. Sorry, honey. Buzz, 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 tika, tika, buzz, buzz, tika, 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 the dance the mighty net club famous, or at least he gathered his name, La Conga!
here? That's cuz you tramps. I knew it. I know the wiggle of them butts anywhere. How'd you get in here? Well, I had my little rabbits bestow a little gift, didn't I? Let's see, I'm the front door man, the lobby clerk. Shit, the they all know? They don't know nothing. Now, I want my money. And I want it now. We don't have it. We spent it. I thought it was a bonus. You spent my money? Look, you've made plenty off us over the years. I think we're entitled to a lousy four grand. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah! Hey, listen here, my little ex-rabbits. Bunny here knows, uh, knows this little game you're playing. What game? Your, your husband hunting, right? Like you're, you're some trio of uh, phony rich sisters, like, like royalty or something, huh? We're the Sturkenbergs. Oh, shut up, you little bimbo! Now I want my money, or I'm going to expose the three of you for what you really are. Yeah, well, maybe no one will believe you. We've gone through a lot of trouble to make sure we're legit. <laughs> make sure we're legit. <laughs> what about your <gasps> resume photos, huh? You were supposed to burn those. Honey, I never throw away anything. And if I don't get my money, I'm going to take these pictures here to the paper. They love stories like these. Maybe we could sell it to television. Shut up, you bimbo. <clears throat> okay. Okay. We'll get you your money. But you have to wait until one of us lands a millionaire. <laughs> Honey, I don't have that long. I'm already for 32. It's all we can do. <laughs> when do we start? <laughs> <laughs> when the clients arrive. Now scram. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I, uh, I'm moving in. What? Out of the question. It took me one whole week to find these sluts. And I ain't leaving them without my money. Plus 20% accumulated interest. Interest? You bet. Besides, I've always wanted a nice, classy, Upper East Side joint to work out of. You know, double my rates. How do you expect these girls to pull up being respectable with you turning tricks in here? Well, it ain't my problem, is it? You old drag queen. Oh, well, that's calling the kettle black. You look like Tammy Faye Baker joins the ice capades. Oh, you're just jealous because you don't have a body like this. Oh, Ladies, yeah, Baker, of a $10. Shut up! You're not setting a good example. Drag queens aren't supposed to fight amongst themselves. I'll get it. Is this the right place? Gentlemen, right this way, eh? Ooh, rabbit! Oh, oh rabbit! Woo! My ship has come in. <laughs> hey, does anybody here want a bagel? Huh? Now what are we gonna do? We work harder, harder as in double time. We are not going to let that that that, that thing in the kitchen deter us from finding you husbands. And me, 100 grand. Money, money, money. Is that all anybody can think about? Yeah. Makes the world go round. All right, girls, get to bed. Oh. Just like a nice little family, huh? Your dates are here. Money, money, money. And one's getting a big settlement. <sighs> oh, yeah. Girls, your dates are here. Um, never mind. Bunny, you got guests. Hello, boys. Come on in. Take a load off, huh? <laughs> You are here to see whom? Poodle. Tiddles. Muffy. Oh, a poodle. Tiddles, Muffy. Your grandfather's. Uh, uh, your dates are here. Whoa! Hiya, handsome. Uh, is Carly here? I thought maybe you were here to see me, huh? What did you want to see Carly? Forget it! 
Hey, what do you want to go do that for? I'm the best I harvest! Well, I told you, gotcha! <laughs> oh, Evie, come step and look how good to see you. <laughs> oh, Muffy, Fillmore is here. Mother Flanagan! Oh, Fillmore. This is so wonderful. I could do this the rest of my life with you. Oui, mais moi, j'aimerais bien t'attacher et te fouetter ton petit cul nu. It's just the way I feel, too. Oh, tu vas aimer mes menottes, j'en ai 22 paires, 6 en or. If you're suggesting a gold ring, that's fine. I don't need gaudy diamonds anyway. Are you dates or Johns, huh? No, I'm just here for the blow job. He's here to watch. Well, why do you think you say so? Now get in here. <laughs> Come on, rabbits! Who's gonna watch? That's Junior here. <laughs> 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 Poodles, Tennyson is here. Hi, Tennyson. Excuse us a moment. <laughs> I still haven't been able to come up with anything on him. Don't worry, he's got to be rich. We go to only the best places. Just watch it. Oh, Tennyson. Poodles. Oh, <laughs> Se come cucazzilla Ladies, your dates are here. Uh -oh. Bunny! Bunny! Oh, boys, I've been waiting for you. I'm glad you left your motorcycles at home this time. Come on. Monsieur Papillon! It's Mrs. Flanagan and son. No! Tennyson Alderman of the Third. Oh, hi! Hi! Hello? Je crois que je suis vraiment amoureux de toi. It is a glorious day, isn't it? Oui, et tu vas aimer mon cheval de torture, 17e siècle, avec des clous et du bois en écharpe. Oh, I, Papillon, I think I'm falling for you too. Uh, who are you, sweetheart? Uh, I'm the girl's auntie, and you must be Mr. Witherspoon. <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, no! Uh, no. Uh, girls, Mr. Witherspoon! Things have been real slow today. Just one, uh, huh? Please, no. please. Girls, I, 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 are you sure you want to take them all out? Oh, yes, I, I must check them all over. I'll check you out later. Beautiful. This one I want tucked up under the breast like that a little bit. I, I want that mold to that thigh, you understand? This is a little bit too long, but I think if you tuck it up under the behind like that. You got that? Uh, girls, uh, which ones of these do you like best? This oh, one. Okay. Excellent, excellent. I'll take three of each of these, please. But Axel, we only need one apiece. Well, speak for yourself, Muffy. Oh, they're, they're not for you. They're for my little girls. Wanna join in? Yeah, where are you having it? In your mouth? No, you bitch! No, no, no! Get no, me! No, 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 what do you want? 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 This is the best hot dog I've ever eaten. Only the best for you, Poodle. I have to tell you that this past week has been so wonderful. I think <laughs> I love you. I know I love you, Tennyson. Isn't it ever so convenient that you have so much money? It'll make our life so much easier. We can travel the world together. Poodle, uh, there's, there's something I have to tell you about my money. <gasps> Don't worry, I'm very frugal.
I love you. Do you love me? Yes, I love you. <coughs> Excuse me, I think I'll use the uh, powder room. Oh, I love you so much, my feet. Oh, Fillmore, I love you too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ma chérie, je vous aime tellement. I love you so much. English, oh, I love you too. Will you marry me? Oh, Muffy, will you marry me? Ma chérie, voulez-vous, will you marry me? Yes. 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 Oh, boy. But they signed a lease. You told me your employer would be gone the whole month, and I just can't... He's getting out of jail. <clears throat> He'll be back from his trip the day after tomorrow, and he wants his apartment back. Oh, this is so terrible. The Countess will never speak to me again. Oh, that's your problem, honey. Just get them out. Oh. oh. <gasps> Opening at 10, 11, 15, and 2... Would your mind keeping it down? Please? Shut up yourself! Now remember, girls, don't put out until you've got a ring on the finger. Yeah, or a 20 in your hand. Line up! Good luck. And I'll take my money in 10s and 20s. And don't forget about the interest. <laughs> Did you find out anything about Tennyson yet? Ah, uh, not yet. He's probably new money, but I'll find out something. Don't you worry. What about Papillon? Oh, he's worth millions. His oh. father's into tripe. You mean like trivia? No, cow stomachs. Oh, goodness. And, of course, Fillmore's legit. You mean his mother? Well, she's got a croak sometime. Okay, girls, let's wish. <laughs> okay. Oh. Good luck. And remember, don't put out! Oh, Tennyson! <gasps> oh, oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. Oh, I love diamond rings. Oh, 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 me too. Oh, 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 Where are you, my darling? Ah, finalement, tu viens te soumettre. What the fuck are you doing? Bien. I wouldn't get into those if you were a billionaire. Ne résiste pas. So this is what you've been talking about all along. I never thought I'd be glad to say I was a hooker once, but it taught me one thing. How to deal with vermin like you! Oh, Tennyson, that was wonderful. Like you. Poodle. I have something I have to tell you. Yes? I've been trying to tell you, but you just haven't wanted to hear it. I'm not rich. I'm the head co-check man at the Conga Club. But it doesn't matter if we still love each other. Someday I'm going to be a famous painter, and, and everything will be okay. <laughs> but you lied to me. No, no. <laughs> you liar. You never loved me anyway. You slime! Oh, Patrice. Oh, 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 oh. And we'll have lots and lots of children. At least a couple of girls for me. Okay, and a couple of guys for me. And a white picket fence. And a big house for them to run around in. Oh, and a big church wedding will invite thousands. What? I thought you were listening to your opera. Not anymore. You get away from him. Oh, we love each other, Mrs. Flanagan. Oh, I will not allow you to marry my son. Get out of here, you money grubbing floozy. I'm... Oh. 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 No more children. <laughs> I want my money! No. Hang there! Okay, now listen, the three of you. 
You better do some smart thinking about how to get back my money. We huh? need more time. Oh. I'll get it, damn it. I'm, oh, uh, Mrs. Rush. Do I know you? Oh, no, my, uh, my sister Tittles told me all about you, and I must say you look just like her. Oh, well, I hope that's a compliment. Oh. <laughs> I'm here with some... Well, this is very awkward, but I have... Spit it out, toots. The owner of the apartment wants it back the day after tomorrow. We have a lease. I'm so sorry, but it's out of my control. Excuse me. They'll be moving things back in tomorrow. What's this about more time? Hard no redder, honey. One day to catch your husband. One day to raise the money. The pressure is killing me. Ah, don't be so melodramatic. Oh, Fillmore! Fillmore, come right in. Who are you? I didn't. Doesn't matter. What do you want, Fillmore? Oh, Loretta, I love you. Listen, I think I have a plan so, so that we can win Mother over. What? Well, she's really into these charity things. These benefits, you know, she's going to give one sometime this year. And I thought maybe if you donated some money. How much? $500 would be a good start. $500? No more. This is such a coincidence. You tell your mother Loretta would love to donate the money. <gasps> oh, good. I would? And as a matter of fact, it just so happens that we are having a benefit here tomorrow evening. Oh, that's terrific. What's the cause? Uh, uh opera. Uh, uh, oh, 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 um, fallen divas. Yes. Fallen divas. Oh, that's wonderful. Mother would probably, probably, she'd definitely pitch in and help. Opera's her life. Oh, God. I'll, I'll have her call you. Bye-bye. I'll see you later. Soon, soon. What the hell is a fallen diva, huh? Next. Next. I'll take this. You can just hand me the cash. Why, you... You know, wouldn't it be terrible if I was to, like, blow the whistle on you right now? You wouldn't. Ha. What are you doing here, you cad? I have to see Joy. I love her. She's not I... interested. Now, you please be so kind as to vacate these premises. I'm interested. Shut up! Go, 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 go. Out, out, out. You know, the least you could have done was to get a donation. Oh, was that Tennyson? Yeah. What did he want? And to tell you he loved you, I told him you weren't interested. But... Mingle! Oh. Mingle! No! How do you do? Just wonderfully. I'm so excited about this new charity. It's been a long time coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, I take a long time coming. Too. I mean, what she means is uh, it was so kind of you to lend your support to this poor, unfortunate divas. <laughs> yeah, those damn fallen divas. They've had a real hard go of it, haven't they? Uh, well. uh, my brother and I want to thank you for all those names and telephone numbers. It was my pleasure. <laughs> and speaking of your brother, Countess, where is that handsome devil? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to give this to the Count personally. Where is he? Oh, oh hi, Fillmore. Excuse me. Nice party, huh? Yeah, yeah, real nice party. Now, will you move it? There's paying customers waiting. Oh, sorry. Yes, just stick in if you'll like part my expression, eh? <laughs> stick in. Hey, those folks don't look like John's to me. All I know is this is the address. Well, now, she could afford a swanky place like this. <laughs> oh, Bunny's got tricks up her sleeve you wouldn't believe. We're going in? Sit tight. Hey, Joel, what's the matter? Tennyson came by to say he loved me, but Dougie sent him away. Oh, come on back out to the party. We'll find you a real millionaire. Okay. <laughs> Big jackpot for you tonight, folks. Three million dollars. Oh, Mrs. Oh. Flanagan, how wonderful of you to come. I want to thank you. Oh, no, you just sisters thanked me already. Oh, but I wanted to thank you personally. Oh. Uh, and uh, you have a little something for me. Oh, yes, 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 my donation. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> you girls are so fortunate to have such an uncle who's handsome and charming. Yes, we are. We love her. I mean him, our uncle, very much. Oh! oh. oh. 
Oh. A once promising diva. Oh, my goodness. How are you doing? I think I'm going to be able to retire. Only 4,000 plus interest for number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, maybe I think I'm going to throw me a, a benefit for fallen pimps, huh? Yeah. Good evening. Hey, you handsome. What are you doing here? I was invited. You certainly were not. Look, I received this phone call. There's obviously you. been a mistake. Look, I know that you, Carly's aunt, and the butler do not approve of me. But I love that girl, and I must speak with her. You must speak with her fiancé tomorrow. Now, please leave before I call the authorities. I'm going. God, I'd like to hump him. Shut up, you slut. Yeah, and proud of it. Next. A few bribes goes a long way, huh, boss? Gift, liar. Gift. Yeah, sure. Gifts. Yeah, I can't wait to get back home. Good evening. Ah, uh, Mr. Witherspoon. Good evening to you, too. <laughs> now, here's a man with real class. Just look at them jewels. Um, would you care to make a contribution to the fallen divas? Well, of course, but only after I spend some time alone with the Countess. I'll see if I can locate her. So, uh, how's tricks, huh? What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Attach more. Attach more. Go. Come on, Funny, you've got to tell your rabbits to behave themselves. Ah, oh, they're doing fine. They're just drumming up some business. You know, some of us are still working girls, you know? <laughs> Thank you, honey. So, how's the cash box doing? Uh, you don't worry your pretty little head about it, huh? <laughs> Did Tennyson come back yet? No. Now, come on, girls. Mingo, 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 mingo. Let's get some more dough out of these sacks, huh? I have something for you, oh. Countess. <laughs> Come and get it. Yeah. <laughs> now, where is that handsome uncle of yours? Mm, he's got to be around here somewhere. Now, you two behave yourselves. I'll be right back. Gosh, I can breathe now. Me too. Oh, I love you so much. I love you too. But what are we going to do? Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Come and get it! Oh, <laughs> Mr. Witherspoon, I'm a respectable woman. Well, if you don't say anything, I won't. Ooh, it's so, so dark in here. So much the better at our age. <laughs> Over here! Oh, oh. eager little thing, aren't you? Ever since I first laid eyes on you. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ooh, ooh. where did you learn that? An old family recipe. Oh, oh my oh. God. I feel like a prostitute. You having a good time, Auntie? Oh, cork it, would you? this evening. Our auntie is going to perform an aria from the Italian opera. Antonio Il Cattiva. Maestro. Since it's such a good cause. Uh, 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 excuse me. Ooh, we'll do you for free. Uh, no, thank you, ladies. <laughs> but we haven't gotten to the good part yet. So no one dato alla cosa sua per la cena le sue scarpe. That is one talented lady. I just love this aria. Thank you, Muffy. Hi, Joy. <gasps> Tennyson, I've missed you so much. <laughs> I miss you too. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, Tennyson. 
Brian, my boy, good to see you tonight. You too, Mr. Witherspoon. Has your father gone over those construction estimates they gave you? Oh, you'll have to talk to him about that. I just run the recycling plant. By the way, have you seen Carly around? We ain't having any luck. I guess they all got late before the party. Yeah, why don't you try those two up there, huh? Oh, oh, Mitch, what? Oh, je viens, je viens. Oh. You're not so sick, Charlie Mortadella. You're not so sick, Charlie Mortadella! You beat it! Yes! Yes! We, oui, we! Oui. Oh, oh! Hello. What are you doing here? I thought I'd give you a second chance. Chance? Chance at what? Seeing you. Seeing me? What are you talking about? Hasn't anyone told you that I've called or dropped by on numerous occasions? No. You have? Harley. I think I love you. We're just gonna sit here all night? All right, I guess it's time. Hey, don't forget, I get the friskum this time. Shut up. Doesn't anybody wanna fuck? <gasps> Fillmore, this crowd is getting a little too wild for me. We're leaving. No, you're not! Think you are, young lady. Don't you dare talk to Muffy like that. Oh, how do you speak to me that way? If you don't like it, Mom, tough luck. And watch this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, would you? Oh, oh. Hey, what the fuck is going on? Hell, if I know. It's a benefit for fallen divas. Hey, there's some clothes. And you got a little something for the divas, huh? No, no, no! We don't shoot them! We just put them in a nice home and shit! Oh, come on! Oh, yes! Shoot me, shoot me! We're winning Let's go, move them out. Oh, here we go. Oh, Come on, honey. Let's go. Oops, here we go. That's the charge. Prostitution. Oh, Come on. I'm not a prostitute. I'm a drag queen. Get out of here. Me too. Get her out of here. What are you, lady? A drag queen or a hooker? <laughs> hooker, get her out. I guess that's the end of our marriage plans. Bunny sure does have a big mouth. We had the money for her. I don't know why she had to go and tell everybody what we used to be. And having to give back all that money. Yeah, well, giving it back was the only way to ward off a 10-year prison sentence for holding an illegal benefit, dear. But we did have it. You would think that would count for something. Yeah, well, not to Bunny. Besides, what do you care? You won the lottery and three million bucks. Yeah. But don't have Tennyson. I don't have Fillmore. <laughs> I don't have Brian. I don't have Squat. Squat? What? what are you doing here? You don't care that we were once, uh... In the business. I always knew that I never cared. I never liked society ladies anyway. You can be anything you want. I love you. Yuck. <laughs> hey, guys, break it up. Does this mean marriage? Yes! yes! Is that wonderful auntie of yours? And where is that delicious uncle of yours? You wait right there, don't move. Oh. 
Oh, Axel, it's so good to see you. Will you lunch with me at Four Seasons? Say at uh, one. Marvelous. I'll meet you there at one. Yeah, don't keep me waiting now. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, and I'm still waiting for that brother of yours. I'll see what's keeping the cow do. Oh, let me put these in water. Ah, oh, oh. oh, Mrs. Flanagan, so delighted to see you. Oh, oh, God. Could we please have lunch today? Ah, oh, very well, say. The Oak Room Act Two. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh. What are you up to, Dougie? Yeah, we have a right to know. Come on, spill it. Well, you three plan to marry millionaires, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Well, I plan to marry two of them. Ready or not, hell, here they come. They got a style their own, having too much fun. East Coast snobbery is just a rumor, and the discontents in the 